Hi family, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day today. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of the information will be in our description box below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. And if you are returning, welcome back, family. Thank you for your love and support. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, so let's go ahead and tap right in. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high, please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages. Please provide me with the most clear messages. And please return all evil negative energy back to sender. 20 million fold. Anybody out there showing me love? Much love and light to you. All right, Spirit, what do we have for my collective? So definitely what I'm picking up is that you may feel like you're in a connection with someone who gives you the bare minimum, if anything at all. And it's like they won't leave. You know, you guys may have had a may have a history together. There's a lot of things that you've been through. I don't even feel like you're really stuck in heartbreak anymore by the past experiences that you guys have been through or that this person has put you through but I do feel like you are ready to give up on this person you don't feel like they support you enough you don't feel like they honor your presence enough and you could just be tired of playing you know um, this person may make music of some sort or be a DJ But it's like they won't leave, but they won't change. And so some of you guys may have may have children with this person. You could have a daughter for some of you guys with this individual. And it's like they may be using that as an excuse to still be attached to you. But you may not even be showing them that much affection or attention. I feel like I'm picking up the energy of a Libra or an Aries. But I feel like this person is very obsessed with you. They feel like you guys are soulmates. I feel like this person's karma for some of you guys, I got to be honest. Some of you all may actually hook up with somebody else. Like a sneaky link. And if it's not you, this is your person. Because they may be upset about the fact that you're not so intimate or affectionate towards them but they may need your stability or they just may feel like you're the person that's always there when something's happening right they may feel like they they need you yeah i feel like you guys are a family you could have between one and three children with this person with this person uh they feel a sense of belonging with you. But this person has a big ego with the five of swords. Uh, this person likes to do things to win at all costs. They're very selfish. So even if they are not investing in you, it's like they still don't want anyone else to have you. They're willing to do anything they can to keep you feeling stuck. I feel like a lot of you guys are making plans. Um, 
you know, to talk to this person or figure out an escape route so that you can move on with your future. Some of you guys may have met someone that you like, but this guy or this girl could still be living with you or coming as they please and you feel like you're stuck. There could be an age difference. But I just feel like you're feeling like you have a different spiritual path than this individual. And they could be a distraction or be causing some type of depression, you know. Um, this person could definitely be even sometimes putting you on the back burner for their friends. Doing the bare minimum so that they can try to stay around in your life. But causing more conflict than ever when it comes to commitment because I feel like this person is not putting in the full effort but they don't want you to commit with anyone else I feel like a lot of you guys wish to be free from this connection could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sag or a Taurus Gemini Libra Aquarius Cancer Pisces Scorpio somebody's depressed or stressed that you'll find new love that's their biggest concern, that you'll find somebody better than them. This person's coming out as pages. Um, they don't communicate properly. They're very immature. They have a lot of growing up to do. I feel like a lot of you guys feel like this person is a blockage more than an actual benefit to have this person around. It's like you may be able to depend on them for small things, but when it comes to real things that you really need, you feel like it's a misfortune. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys feels, feel like this person sets you back or something. Like they bad luck. They don't change. And you just want to be happy. I feel like a lot of you guys just want a fresh start, especially when it comes to love. You could be meeting a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and this person may very much so intrigue you. But it's like the decision has to be made for you to be able to choose you. Wow. You guys have the gem and the medallion. You are in fact a chosen one. A gem. A gift. From the universe, from spirit, from the most high. And I feel like this person tries to downplay you. Yeah, I see the orphan card. Yeah, the destroyer, the destroyer is here. This person's always keeping their eyes on you. And it's like whatever they touch, they destroy you guys could definitely be having small problems that domino into bigger issues because of this person's lack of growth. I do see money. Um, so this person may try to argue with you over money or stability or material resources. Something of that short sort. You could have some new ideas when it comes to money making moves, creative endeavors, things of that sort. And you feel like this person's holding you back. It's like they don't want you to go too far off. But you are a healer. So a lot of you guys may feel like you attract people that are people that had that's had a rough time in life and you do you do and that's because of your healing energy this is another reason why this person just is having a hard time moving forward or letting you live your life i do feel like this is a situation where you guys may have been together for a very long time and it's like you've grown apart but this person's having a hard time acknowledging that fact
How does this individual feel about my collective? How does this individual feel about my collective? Too many, but I think I'm going to take them anyway. So they feel like um, they feel like you guys come from two different worlds. You have two different perspectives on life. Um, you may even have two different perspectives on how you raise your children if you have children together. Definitely two different perspectives when it comes to love. This person feels you pulling away. They know that you're feeling like you want to just love yourself right now. They feel like you do have heavy emotions when it comes towards them and you are keeping your distance kind of when it comes towards them. They feel like you don't really give them attention or affection, but every now and then when you feel like being sexual with them you may have sex with them they do feel you moving on i see on to the next they feel like you found someone or you met someone or you're moving forward they feel as though you don't see them as being good for anything but sex they're attracted to you physically, mentally, and spiritually. This is what they're saying. So is this person hiding anything, spirit? What is this person hiding? Eight of Cups. Hmm. So, wow, guys. Um, so what this person is hiding is that they're holding on to you because they feel like you're moving on to someone else. But secretly, they just start dating someone new with the Ace of Wands energy that they really like. They haven't had sex with this person or anything yet, but they're planning on slowly committing to this person and walking away from you. This person has two children. Um, yeah, whoever this person is that they're going towards has two children. They've been communicating back and forth. This person feels like once they start having sex with this new person, then they're going to walk out on you. So I feel like this person is trying to make sure they find somebody before you move on and cut them off with the Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, they know your future is bright, but they want to try to find somebody that they feel like can at least copycat your energy or be somewhat sort of how stable you are. So that they can take off in that new connection. But they absolutely will re not let you move forward until they know that this connection is solid. Spirit has the last word in this situation. But you're definitely dealing with a snake that's willing to go the extra mile to try to 
ruin things for you with this Five of Wands energy. There's a lot of tension um, in regards to this connection. But this person's intentions are very raw when it comes to manipulation. You got the third chakra, solar plexus, inner harmony. I trust my innate wisdom and respond accordingly. I do not allow my mind to create doubt or override my strong gut feelings. I accept and express my feelings while accepting the feelings of others. I am at peace with myself and those around me and I do not harbor unrealistic expectations of myself or of others. I release the need to control others. My personal power is free from ego, from any desire to manipulate or exploit situations or people. The foundation of my thoughts and actions is to trust in myself. See, this person's having a hard time trusting in their abilities and they're trying to hold you accountable for that. The logical thing would be to let you go, let you be free, let you be happy and naturally meet someone organically and fall in love. But this person refused to do things in divine order. So the karma that they will reap will be excruciating, long, painful, life-changing karma. All right. So those are the messages that I got for you today, my loves. I hope you enjoy this reading. If you like this reading, if it resonates with your story, Show some love, like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family, and I'll talk to you soon.